will either be safer, be more independent, or have more joy. I feel like a million dollars. Hmm. And that's why I say, God is sitting on my shoulder. He shows me the direction. And also, he keeps me from making some dreadful mistakes. If I'm about to say something, he's interrupted me very nicely. Hmm. That's what I mean by saying, God sits on my shoulder. Thank you. There's another one more question. Is that Leo? Yes. Okay. So your father asked you to learn and find out the other religion first mm -hmm. before you chose Christianity. Why did you choose Christianity? What made you decide to choose it? My mother had been a strong influence. Uh, we had gone to the Dutch Reformed Church which was always a real treat because that grandmother, as opposed to the one I was living with, was not really warm and fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> my, other, my mother's mother was very much uh, into the Dutch Reformed Church, and so to go there was always a treat. I just saw that as the mecca for me, to see my grandmother worship, to see my mother to hear the pastor that I really, I felt was just, just the size of God. <laughs> he was terrific. Mm. Um, so there was no real question in my mind, and perhaps I didn't explore every other religion as thoroughly as I could have, but nothing else really grabbed me. Um, I was interested in going to synagogue because um, they were, at that time, it was before Israel became Israel, and there, there was the Zionist movement, and Rabbi Weiss was there, I and mean, he was very prominent in the uh, Zionist movement. Hmm. So I was into that. Uh, the Baha'is, that didn't really grab me. Hmm. I tried. <laughs> um, so I came back to Christianity, and at 25 I was baptized. Hmm. and join the church. But then in, in the army, you'd never find another Dutch Reformed church. <laughs> <laughs> so after I got out of the army, then I joined the Presbyterian Church in Princeton where I decided to retire. Hmm. From the army, I retired five times. So like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing ever takes. <laughs> Are there any questions over here? One more thing I'd like to say, Barbara. You're my heroine, and I have this brand new Stanford hat. I'd like to can I autograph it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've loved working with the Stanford students. I work with. I've had two teams. No, three teams this year. Two from the design school, uh, the first semester, and then four from the mechanical engineering school, and they were such fun. I've really had great fun, and I've also worked with Berkeley students, so it's not to be. <laughs> Which one's better? <laughs> there must be a question or two over here. Has anybody here ever considered going into the military? It's not like it was when I was in the military, but it's a wonderful career, a professional career. I have never had any regrets. I am proud of it. Um, it gave me a wonderful experience in life. Being independent, being self-disciplined, self-motivated, reliant, especially overseas. Hmm. You learn a lot. And if, that's, if there are no other questions, then thank you very much.